what is blockchain blockchain allows secure online transactions blockchain is a decentralized digital ledger which is used to record transactions spread over multiple computers this distributed nature makes it a complete decentralized digital ledger which is the most secure version in the digital world why because if you look at movies and all the stuff you will know that they all preach that if they can like go into a bank's building and then they can like go into a certain computer then they can hack the network and they are right it can happen it's the truth but in bitcoin uh, or like blockchain it's distributed in nature so you cannot just go into a simple computer and hack the total blockchain network you would require to hack mul- like all the blockchains all the blocks just to hack the network therefore blockchain is really powerful and a complete digital ledger which makes blockchain more secure as blockchain cannot be altered without the alteration of all subsequent blocks blockchain transactions are authenticated by worldwide user collaboration with collective self interest because you and i are running a blockchain then we will be paid for it right and because we are getting paid so we will be collaborating in collective self interest because we all are getting paid and that self interest will make the network more stronger because it's a worldwide network and someone cannot hack it just from a certain computer in a certain building therefore blockchain removes data security problems the best part of blockchain is that it confirms that each block of value was transferred only once and in turn solves double spending problem now what was double spending problem that if you have 10 dollar into your bank account and you initiate two transactions of 10 dollars then they will go through because once if they come at the same time same second then they both might not know that the account only have 10 dollars and they mo- both can be cleared whereas in blockchain it cannot happen because the system initiates that one transaction will take place at that second for that account therefore once the first transaction goes through and the second transaction comes in at the next second the money won't be in the account and therefore that transaction will be rejected and therefore it solves double spending problem a blockchain database consists of two kinds of records transactions and blocks blockchain is known to be an efficient exchange protocol with lightning fast speeds therefore it gives a, a like huge advantage to blockchain because it's lightning fast so companies in the future will need to switch to blockchain and it's far cheaper because just consider yourself a company if you own thousands of computer in your like office building you are a bank then you would need to invest electricity internet uh, cost and all other cost but what if all those computer were distributed among thousands of like resident of the town or of that country or worldwide then you won't have the cost of electricity of like people management hr and all those stuff 
so it will reduce your cost and what if i tell you that once those like hierarchy of hr and other stuff gets removed then it gets fast so you get faster paced transactions without cost so how can it be not the future because it offers so much unless and until like the companies come up with a solution like this on their own but they haven't blocks hold batches of transactions that are encoded into a merkle tree now for merkle tree understand it like a tree and blocks are like uh, the tree branches and those branches holds batches of blocks so it's like a complete tree with transactions as their branches therefore to form a tree each block includes hash of previous block therefore linking the two the same way as in a tree the tree is linked to its roots and those roots like form the tree so it's a fully linked tree you cannot say the branches are separate from the tree they are all linked up and the same thing goes into a blockchain it's all linked example in a tree if you break a tree into a half the half that gets disconnected from the other part of the tree or tree roots it dies the same way a blockchain cannot be broken because if it is broken then it's not authenticated or not validated therefore it will die in itself these linked blocks form blockchain this linking process confirms all previous block till the original genesis block now what's a genesis block the first block the initial block from where it all started with time blockchain grows in size and currently the largest blockchain is bitcoin blockchain and it is said to be 100 gb in size due to systems lightning speeds sometimes separate blocks can be produced simultaneously creating a temporary fork any blockchain which has a specific algorithm for getting different versions of the history therefore the one with the higher value will always be selected over others blocks not selected for inclusion in the chain are called orphan blocks now in like reality an orphan block is someone which is not connected within the blockchain it's a block that is left out so that's an orphan block and if you are paid for setting up a blockchain example in bitcoin blockchain then you won't be paid for that orphan block and therefore it will be like uh, deducted from the blockchain removed from the blo- blockchain thank you